what we're going to be doing this unit is talking about financial math. What what we want to do is is try and understand the math behind a lot of the you know formulas and things that are important to our personal finances. Okay, so stuff that you'll encounter, right? So um, things that are really abstract or you know deal with like just businesses or stuff like that. We, you know we won't get into that. Okay. Or what we're going to do in this unit is thing you know focus on things like you know how does interest work um, you know we'll look at you know saving money loaning money we're going to look at things like taxes and credit cards and mortgages and things like that okay and the first unit that we have is going to be on percents because that's from a mathematical point of uh, you know point of view percents are the um, Thing that underpins all of it, right? Taxes are all based on percents. Um, interest is all based on percents, right? Credit cards, everything. Okay, so this is kind of the the underpinning I idea um, you know, behind everything that we do going forward. And we want to make sure that we have a really good foundation here. So a lot of, especially this first unit, is going to be you know feel like review, and that that's good. But you want to make sure that it's sort of fresh in your mind when we move forward for some of the more difficult stuff. All right. So uh, here's our first thing. Percents, um, percent is really a shorthand for a fraction, okay? So you, can, you can always think of the percent symbol as just meaning divided by 100, okay? And so, um, you know, something like 15% is 15 over 100, okay? And this is going to be, I think, very helpful from a mathematical point of view because if somebody writes, you know, uh, 15% and somebody else writes the decimal 0.15, right? These are equal. These are the same number. So we don't have to, you know, worry about, you know, is, is there a difference? Is one preferred? I can't read one of them. So, you know, you can, you can just kind of freely go back and forth. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's look at conversions. So if I want to convert, what we're going to do since a percent is really just a fraction, we just sort of review how to go back and forth between, you know, fractions and decimals, okay? So um, if I want to convert a percent to a decimal, what we can do is just do the division, right? If I have something like 15%, that is shorthand for the fraction 15 over 100. So we just take 15 and divide it by 100, okay? And I, and I get 0.15. And the nice thing about dividing by 100 is it's just moving the decimal place, okay? Um, you can feel free to use your calculator also, right? You know, I can 15 and say, okay, divide it by 100, okay? Um, and it just moves the decimal over and I get 0.15. Okay. Um, so dividing by 100 moves the decimal place left. So if I want to go from a, uh, from a percent to a decimal, Okay, we move left. Okay, if I want to go from a decimal to a percent, here we move right. Okay. So if I want to convert the following to decimals, suppose I have 32%, 158%, and 0.4%, okay? This is just 32 over 100, so I move the decimal place left two places, one, two, and it gives me a 0.32, okay? This is 158 over 100. Again, I just move the decimal place left two places, one, two, so I get 1.58. 0 0.4, right, percent means divided by 100. So if I want to convert to a decimal, I just move left two places. So left the first place will give me a zero in front, and left a second place will give me two zeros in front. So 0 0.004. Okay. Going the other way, converting the following to percents, to convert to a percent, I want it to be a fraction over 100, so I'm just going to move. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to move the decimal right two places. 
So if I take 0.25, I move the decimal right two places and I get 25%. Okay. 1.41, 1 I move the decimal place right two places and I get 141. And 0 0.0007, if I move the decimal place right two places, I get 0 0.07%. Okay. Now, Some of these percents are smaller than one, right? That's okay. 0.07% is, a, you know, kind of a tiny number, but it exists. Okay. Percents can be bigger than 100%. That's fine. Percent, remember, is just a fraction over 100. There's no rule about fractions that says that they have to be between zero and one, right? We can have improper fractions, okay? Um, in some contexts, we think of percents as a portion of a whole, right? So, like, if I'm splitting up a pizza... And I say, okay, I'm, you know, I'm going to give you one slice of this pizza. What percent of the pizza is it, right? Then that should be something that is a proper fraction, right? Or something between, you know, zero and 100%. But um, a lot of things that we work with, that doesn't have to be the case, right? Um, and, and when we work with percents, oftentimes uh, it can be more than 100%, and that's okay, right? There's nothing about percents that says that they have to max out at 100 